Welcome back, everybody. Tommy Bauer here, the CEO and founder of the Headline Music mobile app. Today marks episode three of the Friday feature. I'm really excited, as usual. We have a new guest, Pamela Hopkins, coming all the way from Arkansas. She's a country singer, one of the first people to put her music on the mobile app, and I want to get down to a few things, so let's go, Pamela. Pamela Hopkins, coming in from Arkansas, right? Yeah. All right, how are we doing today? I'm called Bologna. I'm great, how are you? Oh man, I am ready to do this. <laughs> I feel like it's a long time coming, so I'm excited. I'm um, excited as well. So I want to talk about you being overseas. I saw that you uh, were overseas. What exactly were you doing over there? Well, um, so I was asked to perform. I'm a dueling piano player, um, I guess by trade. And I do that here in Arkansas, but every now and then I'll get the opportunity to um, to travel. And the owner of Pro Tour Productions, her name's uh, Sandy, she contacted me, I guess through word of mouth about how good I was or whatever, and asked me to go over there with Armed Forces Entertainment. So we went to eight bases in 17 days in four different countries and performed for the troops. It was a lot of fun. A lot of work. A lot of fun. <laughs> I bet. Very rewarding. Yeah. How, how many countries did you say that was? Um, well, I went to five, but we performed in four. So uh, we flew into Madrid, and we did uh, Spain, Italy, um, Greece, and Portugal. Wow. And then I went up to Switzerland for half a day and got out and walked around and <laughs> things like that, yeah. We had a long layover there, so. Uh, Swiss Alps. <laughs> yes. It was, it was very beautiful up there. Cold. Uh, that's what I heard. Um, so what do you like best about touring, then? What is it? Um, I really, really, well, I'm not a homebody, per se. I like to go, and so traveling is kind of my thing, and um, I really like seeing the sights and getting to experience life, and I mean, God put this great earth together for us to look at and to go visit, and so every chance I get, I'm gone. Right, and most of it's, most of your touring is done um, on the road, right? You're driving? Um, or would you say well, you're flying? I, well, I flew, yeah, I flew, and um, when I was traveling doing the Dooley Pinos, it was a lot of driving. Um, but now that I'm more stationary here in Arkansas, when I actually leave, I fly out. So I also do uh, Norwegian cruise lines in the summer for about a month, and I was in Italy this last year. I've done Bermuda, I've been down to the Caribbean, and this coming year, um, I leave in the, at the end of May, and I will be up in the Baltic. So I'll fly into Denmark, and it's, um, it's like Copenhagen, Denmark, Estonia, Russia, yeah, so I'm really excited about that one. I'll be there for a month. Wow, you're getting around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, that's in cool. In a good though. way, though. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good, though. I, uh, I I like that. Um, I'm a big fan of travel, too, So it's but it's nice to see, like, you're bouncing around from all these places, and you're getting your, your music out there, you're getting the sound out there. It's, it's you know, it's an experience that you, you know, always dream that you could have, you know? Right, and what's better than paid travel? I mean, I'm paid to do it, which is awesome. So it's not like it's my own dime. It's, you know, I get contacted and I'm able to, you know, book it and go. And it's all paid for, and then they pay me a salary to do it. So it's a win-win. Right, yeah. Just yeah. get a world for free. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I wanted to ask, where do you get your inspiration from? Who in the, is it somebody in the music business? Do you have family that plays? Did someone bring you up in it? How does that work for you? Honestly, no. I mean, my brother sings a little bit um, or did when I was growing up. So I guess watching him, he's six years older than me. Um, he was like in show choir and barbershop quartet and things like that. And then um, I started playing cello when I was in the fifth grade and uh, played that for 10 years and went to college on a scholarship and also um, joined choir in high school. And that kind of sparked my love of music. Uh, as far as like now, um, just the guys that I play with often that I play across from and the guys that are in my band right now are just, they're amazing instrumentalists. I play several instruments and I'm always wanting to get better because I listen to them and I want to play like they play, you know? <laughs> so I know I'm known as the vocalist of the group. They're like, well, she sings really well and she's an average piano player, but they're really good piano players. And so I always strive to be like the guys that I work with and, you know, my band is that play the guitar really well and the drums. <laughs> <laughs> do you play, um, so obviously you play the cello and the piano, what else do you, do you play anything else or just those two? I play the bass um, and I also play the drum set. So as a dueling piano player, in order to make yourself versatile, to be able to go from club to club to club or to do these different gigs, private gigs, corporate gigs, 
um, a lot of times they want you to experience another instrument. So I jump on the drum set and I'm not mad. I'm pretty good. I can keep it in the pocket. <laughs> I don't do a lot of fills, but I do some. Um, I play bass because the bass is similar to the cello. Um, it's just sideways. Um, I also play harmonica, which is really cool. I mean, it's not a lot of instrument. <laughs> right. And then I, just bought, I bought a guitar, like a, a, a an acoustic guitar to start uh, working on that. This is my goal this year is to add that to my my family of instruments that I play. Which one's your favorite? I really like the piano because you can't, I mean, I'm looking at my pianos over here. I've got two sitting beside me. Um, <laughs> I think I really like the piano, honestly, because it's not, my. you know, my fingers may go in a different spot, but the sound, <laughs> you can't mess the sound up. The C is a C. <laughs> you know, there's a cello, a C, can, if you, your fingers are in the wrong spot on the cello or even on the bass, it could change the pitch. Uh-huh. And I really like banging on the drums. Those are fun. So I, I would, <laughs> percussion is my love. Which one are you the best at, do you think? Piano. <laughs> Piano? <laughs> well, yeah, because I haven't played cello in, um, gosh, 20 years. So I still have my cello. I've got like three violins hanging on my wall that I... I'm not good at it all. So. <laughs> you're really, uh, not good at violin at all. I can, I can, mm. You're legit. You're a legit uh, southern musician, huh? There you go. I'm sure. Tur- well, Holy I Holy cow! You got all the bells and whistles. <laughs> pizzazz. <laughs> um, that's funny. I wanted to ask. Um, so I've been asked this question before, and I know that we've talked about it briefly. But I wanted to ask you, what is your opinion of someone who might have a lot of following on social media who isn't exactly a musician hasn't done much uh, in the music industry and then um, they decide to go and make a song and all of a sudden because of their following they get a lot of uh, feedback and praise for it I would hate to say that it's kind of unfair but I guess you know use what you got if you have a following and that's what you want to get into I mean kind of sucks for those of us that are working our butts off but I mean it is what it is I mean I, they could tell me how to get millions of people following me and then I can do something better. Maybe I can learn to play basketball or something. I don't, <laughs> like reach. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. Um, I, I just say, I mean, if you're given that opportunity and that's where your road leads you, hopefully you put out a good product and it's just not junk on the radio that people are following right. because of who you are and then it's actually some kind of art. But I mean, who is, who is the guy... Um, Knight Rider, didn't he put out something back in the 80s? I don't um, know, I was born in 88. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might not be able to think of his name. Uh, he was, he, he, yeah, Knight Rider. Um, David Hasselhoff. Uh, oh, guy. yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. he Knight Rider? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, didn't he? I think he put out a song. Yeah, he made a couple songs. <laughs> and then I think Patrick Swayze did the same thing, and, you know, so. Eddie Murphy even had one. There you go. Eddie <laughs> Yeah. Are famous on Insta- well, they're famous on Instagram now, but back then they didn't have Instagram. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Go ahead. I was just asking because, uh, at least for myself, I had been right. making music for a number of years, too. I had been, you know, rapping for a long time. And right. uh, one thing that I noticed was that, you know, I started to notice that I was actually a lot better. Maybe I would have a biased opinion because it's me, but right. uh, with all the auto-tune and everything, that it, it's like taking away from people's actual sound. And, right. uh, and I think a lot of people realize that, but that seems to be what the generation like wants to hear right now. It's, it's kind I of guess. wild, and I, it took me a long time to like get to the point where I'm like, okay, my stuff might be lyrically a lot more clever than a lot of these other people that are coming up in this um, music business, but it's not the sound that people want to hear because they, for some reason, they like that auto-tuned uh, R&B, kind of like, EDM. yeah, mumble, uh, yeah. you know. So, and I, I don't like I said. It's one of those that, of course, the feedback that I get. I get I'm in a club three nights a week, and um, I get a lot of feedback. It's always, I don't think I've ever had negative feedback. Well, except one lady. One lady said she didn't like my rendition of uh, what was it, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Mm. And she said I didn't look like I was into it. And I was <laughs> first of all. It's a duet, and I did both parts. I don't know how, how <laughs> I can be, but I actually like the song. But that was the only probably negative criticism I've got. Most times I hear people say, you, "You know, you're better than so and so." You're better, but I always so take it with a grain of salt that they're drinking, 
maybe I am, maybe I'm not. <laughs> that should no. make you sound even better. <laughs> well, exactly. So, but that's what I'm saying. So they're drunk and they're like, you're amazing. And I'm like, is it because you're drunk I'm amazing or did you come in sober? Oh gosh. I actually like your voice a lot. Uh, that's why we picked you for that, uh, the honeymoon video. Yeah, I appreciate that. I yeah. saw that. Oh, uh, that, my kids and my husband, yeah. That was perfect. It was like a nice, sappy, like, honeymoon uh, collage. It is. <laughs> and it's kind of fun. It's it's upbeat and fun. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You watched the video, right? The, yeah, the video I had. Yeah, for that? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a, of, yeah a friend of mine helped me produce that. And, um, and then my oldest daughter is in the video with her husband. Mm -hmm. that's, that's her. She's 22, so... She uh, was actually the girl. That's your oldest, 22? Yeah, she's my, my heart baby. My heart baby. Not from my belly, but from my heart. She's one of my, my uh, kids that I took in. And we oh, love perfect. Her. Yeah. So, and um, she's amazing. Smart, has a degree. You know, I'm really proud of her. Yeah, my yeah, oldest, uh, um, you're winning me uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a teacher for a while, and so she was in my seventh grade class, and um, we brought her home, and uh, she stayed with us for a while, and Helped her uh, grandma get this together, and she has done so well. She's a great mom, and uh, she's an RN, and so we're just super, super proud of her. So Perfect. Yeah, that worked out like a charm. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, and, well, her friend's the one who produced that part, and then my friend produced my part, and it was just great that it fit together. Mm -hmm. I was very, very thankful that, you know, she has to use that. So Yeah, no, that's a good story. I got to give her props as well. <laughs> yeah, man, that makes me feel all warm inside. <laughs> Yeah, she's such a sweetheart. Um, okay, well, I wanted to ask you one last question, and it's uh, about <laughs> it's about this year. Uh, so 2020, we're in it now, obviously. And right. um, I want to know, what exactly do you have coming up in 2020? Do you have uh, some more original music from yourself coming up? Do you have uh, uh, anything that you want to share with your fans and followers that we can uh, relay the message for? Well, so yeah, I'm actually currently writing. Um, I've got my band working on stuff together, and we are trying to hit the ground running start of this year, um, booking ourselves in festivals and things like that. Um, I obviously have a job at night, so um, I work in a club three nights a week. That's going to continue because it pays well, and it pays my bills. So I'm very blessed to have that kind of to, to fund the rest of the, everything I do, but I'm really, really excited about getting my new music out there. I plan to release three more singles this year. Okay. So all country, we're going to hope and see how it goes, you know. <laughs> so where are you looking to play then? Um, so just different festivals. So we have uh, Toad Suck Days coming here in um, Conway, Arkansas, and I'm hoping to get on there. I'm hoping to be able to Yacht Live Fest again and some other um, things. We have a place called The Rev Room okay. here, and there are some different um, acts that go on there that I could be opening for. So just working on that stuff this year that's my focus is to get more of my original stuff out and um add that to i guess the because i already do top 40 so i do all requests all genres um, in my job now and so just to get me out there more and really work on my fan base and uh, my following you know i might take another trip to nashville or two who knows good <laughs> All right, Pamela. Keep them positive. Keep them positive. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time to uh, come on the show with us. And, uh, hey, no problem. And, yeah, no, it was a blast. I actually liked uh, a lot to listen to your story and kind of a little bit about uh, your take on, uh, you know, what you got coming up and uh, the tour that you've been on and your daughter. Um, so I really I got three more that. kids. I should have mentioned. I do have <laughs> three more kids. I have a son that's 19, a daughter that's 16, and a, another son that's 15. Yeah, so. you got to put food on the table. <laughs> yeah, I have a four. So if you consider, well... The eldest, like I said, I got one in college, and then she, Angel's already out of college, so, and she's always done things for herself, so she's been doing great. And the other three are wonderful, too. I can't complain. I've been blessed. Very blessed. All very right. Good. Well, we appreciate your time. Thanks again, Pam. Yeah. Pamela. Hey, thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll see, see you later. Good to see you again. Uh, bye. Bye.